Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the equation of a tangent to a given circle. And to do this, it's best if we go through an example. So I've got one here, find the equation of the tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 10x plus 2y plus 13 equals 0 at the point minus 3, 2. So if we've got a point P, say, on a circle, in this case at the point minus 3, 2, then if we're to get the equation of this line, being a line, we should know that any line has the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1 and y1 are the coordinates of a point on the line and m is the gradient of the line. So our tangent then ought to take on this format. And x1, y1 will be the point P. x1 would be minus 3 and y1 would be 2. But what about the gradient m? Well, to get the gradient of the tangent, all I need to do is get the gradient of, say, the centre to the point where the tangent's going to pass through because we should know that these two gradients are at right angle. So if I can get the gradient of, say, CP, then by multiplying this gradient with this gradient, it will come to minus 1. The product of two perpendicular gradients is minus 1. So using that fact, I should be able to get this gradient. I'll have my M value. I've got my x1, y1, so I can find then the equation of the tangent. OK, so let's put that into practice, OK? We'll start off with the equation of the circle, and what we need to do is get the coordinates of the centre. So let's put down the equation of the circle then as x squared plus y squared plus 10x plus 2y plus 13 equals 0. Now to find the centre and the radius, the way I like to do it is to rearrange this and put the x squared with the x term together, so x squared plus 10x, then write the y squared plus 2y, and then we have the plus 13, and that equals 0. And then what I do is complete the square on the first two terms so that we get x plus 5 all squared, so that's going to be x squared plus 10x plus 25, so I subtract 25 and that now gives me x squared plus 10x. Going on to y squared plus 2y and completing the square, we get y plus 1 all squared and then minus 1. That, if you expanded it, would give you y squared plus 2y. Then we've got the plus 13 on the end, and that would equal 0. So if I now tidy this up, I've got x plus 5 all squared. I've also got y plus 1 all squared. And on the left-hand side here, minus 25 minus 1 is minus 26, plus 13 is minus 13. So if I add 13 to both sides, this equals 13. And when we have this format, hopefully you remember that the equation of a circle, remember, has the form x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals the radius squared. Then you can see that the center will be at Let's just write it down. The center will be at minus 5, minus 1. And the radius will be equal to the square root of 13, root 13 then. Now, as it turns out, I've drawn actually the sketch of this circle. We've got a center at minus 5, minus 1, so we've put the coordinates here as minus 5, minus 1, and the point P is at minus 3, 2. So we'll just write that in at minus 3, 
2. So we've got our point P. So that means now, okay, let us get the gradient of CP and then we can use the perpendicular rule to get the gradient of the tangent. So we'll get the gradient of CP, so therefore gradient of CP. Now to get the gradient of CP, remember it's the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So if we do the difference in the y coordinates, we'll do 2 minus minus 1. So 2 minus minus 1, and it's divided by the difference in the x coordinates, minus 3 minus minus 5. Minus 3 minus minus 5. If you work this out, you're going to have 3 on the top, and minus 3 plus 5 becomes 2. So we've got a gradient of 3 over 2 for the CP line. Right? Now we know that the product of this gradient with the tangent is minus 1. So what that means is that therefore the gradient of the tangent, all right, let's just put this in, is now going to be equal to minus 2 thirds. Simply just turn your fraction upside down and change the sign that you get. And if you multiply these two together, you will get negative 1. OK, so we've now got the gradient of the tangent. We've got the point that the tangent passes through, minus 3, 2. So we've got our x1, minus 3, and our y1, 2. So we're in a position to get the equation of the tangent. At P. So let's just write this in that therefore the equation of the tangent at P is. Okay, let's just say what it is. It's now going to be y minus y1, so that's minus the 2 there, equals the gradient minus 2 thirds multiplied by x minus x1. So it's x minus and x1 is minus 3 here. So we have that. Okay, so that's the basic equation of the tangent and it's up to you how you decide to simplify this. If I was going to put this in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught, then what I'd most probably do is times through the 3. And that would give me 3y minus 6 equals, and if I times this side by 3, I'm just left with minus 2 times x plus 3, which gives minus 2x minus 6. And if I add 6 to both sides, and also add 2x to both sides, this rearranges to 2x plus 3y equals 0 for the equation of the tangent. OK, so Hopefully you've got the general concept then of trying to find the equation of a tangent to a circle when you know a point P that the tangent has got to go through and you know the centre of a circle. Alright, well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.